Christmas period begins in earnest for our football sides this weekend. David Passmore and our football expert Jeff Twentyman are here to cast their eyes over what we hope will be a festive feast of sport, and they've been good too. <laughs> very good, very of good. Of course. Of course, Christmas brings a rapid succession of games. It's also incredibly the mid point of the season. Yes, we're already halfway through. Now, Jeff, it's great to have so many games for the fans, yeah. but what's it like for the for the players and the managers? I don't really want too much sympathy, but it's, it's quite tough for them in many ways. You know, they've got to be totally focused on playing football and preparing for football. I, mean, I remember my first Christmas as a professional. I was 23, late into the game. Christmas Eve we trained. I thought, I'll be off for Christmas Day, be with the kids and all of that. And then I saw this notice on the, on the notice board, <laughs> training tomorrow, half past nine. I thought it was a wind-up. But no, you make the sacrifices. Modern-day football are away on Christmas night because preparing for Boxing Day. So, you know, they've got to make those sacrifices. As I say, my heart bleeds for them. <laughs> yeah, let's start with Bristol City. Yeah. Not their best form, but they're very close to the playoffs. Yeah, they've got to improve at home, haven't they? A bit of an anorak fact, but 29th of August, the last Saturday home win for Gary Johnson and his players. They've got to brush up on that one and they'll be OK in terms of the top six. Reading at home tomorrow, they're managerless, but with three games over Christmas, crucial games, Gary Johnson determined to get off to a winning start tomorrow. It's one that we, you know, we'd like to win, of course. Uh, we need to look back at the top six. We've just dropped out of there a couple of points away. So we need a decent Christmas. We've got three games coming up before the new year and, and those three games will need to propel us into the top six. A uh, great game for Yeovil last mm, week. They nearly beat Norwich, robbed in the last few seconds, but uh, they're worryingly close to the relegation zone. Yeah, it's their away form conversely, which they need to improve. But yet at home doing really well. Last week against Norwich, that late goal from John Abika, we thought that was going to win the game against the fancied Norwich side, but they came back to equalise. But uh, they'll take a lot of confidence from that and, you know, keep improving, they'll be OK. Mid-table will be good for Yeovil. Now, Swindon, uh, mm. they, they were doing well, and yeah. then they got, uh, got mugged, really, at Rovers Yeah, last well week. beaten last weekend. They're going to lose matches. That's inevitable in football, obviously. But Danny Wilson, I remember from his City days, he works in, like, kind of four-match units. And as long as all works out over the four games, they can take a defeat, like last week at Bristol Rovers, as long as they pick up the pace and improve, which I'm sure they will. Yeah, Rovers getting off to a flying start there, didn't they? And, uh, and of course, Swindon didn't really have many chances at all. We've just got the one Yeah, Rovers are clinical, and Jeff Hughes is absolutely outstanding for them. Top scorer from midfield, a real bonus. Now, Swindon's loss was Rovers' gain. They, they went into the playoffs. Yeah, they're in the top six. You know, you're there where you are out, out of right, and, you know, if you're playing well, you get the rewards. Tomorrow, it's a tough game at Tranmere. They're second from bottom, but they've got a caretaker manager till the end of the season. But I think Paul Tollop, deep down, fancies his chances tomorrow. We have to give Tramia a lot of respect. You know, they've had an upturn in results in recent weeks under, under their, uh, their new caretaker manager who's, who's now got it to the end of the season. So we'll have to be respectful, but it does represent for us an opportunity uh, to hopefully go there and pick up three points. Worrying about Cheltenham, is uh, Mark Gates going to be their new manager? They want, to, they want to talk with him, don't they? A former player, of course. I just think they need someone more experienced, the kind of John Ward type figure. I know John Ward won't leave Colchester, but someone who knows the game, lots of contacts. If they don't sort things out very quickly, it could end up being a really disappointing season at Cheltenham. They've got to make an appointment and obviously the right man. It might be Mark Yates, but I just think they need someone with a bit more, a bit more experience, a few more contacts.